Praise be Jesus Christ. Everyone is talking about the Great Reset. And some of you are saying, oh, here we go, another conspiracy theory. This is not a conspiracy theory. As a matter of fact, Time Magazine just devoted an entire issue to promoting the Great Reset. What is the Great Reset? Well, it's an initiative that is being embraced by a lot of the world's elite. It's an initiative to make the world a better place. And it's being pushed uh, mainly by the World Economic Forum. On the World Economic Forum website, it says, there is an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of the COVID-19 crisis to improve the state of the world. The World Economic Forum is starting the Great Reset Initiative. Now, I hope this makes you nervous. First of all, there's, they speak about the global stakeholders. Who's that? Is it world leaders? Is it religious leaders? Is it the academics? Is it the elite billionaires? Who is it that we are entrusting to fix the world? I don't mind fixing the world. I don't mind making the world a better place. The question is, who is leading this initiative? Who's making the decisions on how we're going to make the world a better place? It goes on to say they're going to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of COVID-19 crisis. Listen, for some people, COVID-19, it's not a crisis. It's an opportunity. For some, it's an opportunity to order the world in the way they see fit. Again, people talk about a new world order. This isn't a theory. This is an emerging reality. It goes on to say um, they want to improve the state of the world. As a Christian, you need to know that one of the, the, the primary temptations of humanity has always been to try to make the world into a paradise, into a utopia without God to set aside God's law and his commands, to push God aside and say, hey, we got this. We'll make the world a better place on our own terms. And has that work ever worked out? It never works out. It always ends in disaster. And a lot of lives um, are, are lost because of, of these uh, awful initiatives. Now, goes on to say on, on, on their website, the Great Reset Initiative has a set of dimensions to build a new social contract that honors the dignity of every human being. First of all, this language, it's so ambiguous. Like, what do they mean? Initiative has a set of dimensions? What are these dimensions? If you look on the website, they include embracing the ideologies of the sexual revolution. As Christians, as as uh, even Judeo-Christians, religious people, we don't embrace the ideologies of the sexual revolution. Why do you keep pushing this on us? We believe that marriage is the, the basic building block of society. And God has made it very clear. And, and, and natural law makes it very clear what marriage is supposed to be, how it's meant to be lived, and so on. And they say honors the dignity of every human being well then, why don't we honor the dignity of the most vulnerable, the most little, the most helpless, those who don't have a voice? Why are we not trying to protect their lives? There's a word I want to speak to the Great Reset people. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. This is what we believe. And we will never deny the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the world. Viva Cristo Rey.